Okay, folks, uh, here you're going to find the policy brief instructions and the grading rubric. I'm posting this doc file right under the video. But basically what you have is a description of what is a policy brief. I'm not going to go over this because I covered it in a previous video. And then instructions about what is it that we want to see. We want the policy brief to be about three to four pages, no more than four pages. And that should include absolutely everything. Figures, tables, and title page. Like we said, you can create your brief using Microsoft Word or Microsoft Publisher or whatever software you uh, choose. But keep in mind that we will only accept doc files or PDF files. And so when you are creating your policy brief, make sure, even if you do it in something like Publisher, make sure that you save it as a PDF and you upload it as a PDF, okay? When you write it, use Times New Roman 12 point font size and make sure that you do it single space. We don't want to see any double space or one and a half space. It's single spaced, okay? How you format the brief is up to you, but we strongly recommend, strongly recommend that you use two columns. You will see that all of the good examples of briefs that do well actually have two columns. Citations, like I said in the previous video, should be in APA format. The policy brief is due on December 8th at 9 p.m. This is in the syllabus, but I'm also going to send you a number of reminders. Now, you might want to structure your brief with the following sections. I'm not going to go over this in detail because I talked about this in the previous video, but you're going to have a summary. You're going to have the context and importance of the issue. You're going to have the current policy or policies in place, and you're going to have the alternative policy options and the conclusion. Finally, you're going to have also the references. All that information should be there. Okay, let's talk about the policy brief rubric. This is what we're going to use to grade the briefs. First criteria is going to be overall organization. And you'll see that if you do an excellent job, you, you can get a maximum of 20 points. If you do a good job, meaning a B, uh, you would get 16 points. If you do an adequate job, that's a C, that would be 14 points. Uh, 12 points would be uh, something that needs a little bit of work, but it's still a passing grade. And then 10 or below would be inadequate. That would be a failing grade. The second criterion um, here is whether the content is appropriate for the audience. I urge you to actually read this rubric as you are putting together the brief because it's going to give you a few ideas of what to do and what to avoid. The third criteria is language clarity. We want you to write clearly and to make sure that your message is straightforward and easy to understand. Another criteria is visual cues. Like I said before, the brief needs to be visually appealing, right? So you have to meet these uh, goals that you have here in the rubric. Finally, data presentation. How you are presenting the data is important to make a straightforward and clear argument as well. So please read through the rubric carefully and you should be on your way to writing a good policy brief. I want to close by saying that in addition to having to present the final brief, you could, if you want, send us a draft. If you send us the draft to either me or your TA, we'll be very happy to give you some feedback. The only thing is that you have to send us those drafts with enough time for us to read this stuff, make comments, and send it back to you with at least a few days for you to make changes. So given that the final submission of the brief is on December the 8th, we can make a commitment to comment on your draft if you send us the draft no later than Wednesday, December the 2nd. That way we can read it, comment on it, send it back to you, and you still have a few days to work on it before submitting the final version. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one where I'm going to show you examples of briefs that students have written for this class in the past. I'll see you there. Bye.